Sup, peoples. Sup. Sup, peoples. <laughs> Should I say my S with a with a whistle instead of a lisp? Left. What? Sup. No, I don't want to do that. This guy's been haunting my dreams. This guy. He's following me. Fucker. <laughs> oh, man. itself. I don't have to do anything. <clears throat> this dude, Taryn, which I don't really know much about, but he posted a picture of Kanye and his, uh, his succubus. And Kanye's, uh, leg was all fucked up his left leg looks like bowed out like he's got a, a prosthesis or something <clears throat> and he looks very strange I think Trump might actually be doing uh, I think Trump might be aware of <coughs> Trump is some weird tranny alien or something but I think he's aware of uh all the celebrity stuff, which is why Kanye went and talked to him in the first place. I mean, Kalanick went and talked to him. So whatever the, the cabal has been up to, I think... <laughs> I don't think Trump is necessarily just another uh, figurehead. I don't know, though. That level of... That level of fuckery is always hard to have something innocent penetrate its ranks. But yeah. Um. What else? What is today? Today is hump day. terms don't apply to me as much anymore, but they're kind of fun to remember. Wednesday. Yeah, if Google itself went down, I think that would be something to worry about. Not YouTube going down for one hour, two hours. They blamed it on Pakistan. <laughs> Pakistan. Because <laughs> Pakistan is trying to protect, you know, Islamic extremist views. They're trying to shut down any free speech, so they accidentally shut it down for half the country. Or half the world. <laughs> what the fuck? Who knows what actually caused it, but that would be hilarious if Pakistan was trying to, uh, you know, suppress its people and it accidentally suppressed the whole world. <laughs> oh, man. This realm, I tell you what. I don't even have to, I don't even have to search this stuff out. It comes and finds me. Pakistan? goodness. You know, a 
something else I, I've noticed in, in current times is that uh, there's no more opposition, even in, like, family members? Or, there's only silence. Because I can remember back when you would say something controversial about whoever or whatever, and you'd get some sort of defense from whoever you were talking to. You know, like, you could say anything, like, uh, uh, I don't know. Take your pick, there's a billion of them to say. Uh, and say that controversial thing, and, and the person would be like, nah, you're full of shit, or whatever, but there's no resistance anymore. Like, nobody has any resistance to anything anymore. And, uh, <laughs> part of that, I mean, part of the reason for that for me is because, uh, when I talk about all this stuff, it's all matter of fact, and I don't care whether they believe it or not, because I don't care whether I believe it or not, <laughs> because, uh, you know, so if I'm saying my thing, uh, matter of factly, and they don't like it or something, then, you know, and they'll have a response to try to defend their position, then uh, it, it will end because I'm not going to get into an argument about it. And, uh, There isn't like, you know, all of the all of the positions are right, and they all can be defended easily. <laughs> and they're also all wrong. And they can be uh, equally shown to be wrong. So I think. Uh, I think everybody knows now, even the regular people kind of know. So if, if you're one of the regular ones, then you know, you're going through all the facade stuff and the image stuff and trying to keep, keep on these appearances. And you know, like part, part of you knows that you're full of shit. Uh, but the way to protect that now, instead of attacking um, opposition, is to remain completely silent. <laughs> You just go and do your thing only and ignore everything else. I feel like that's the new way. Because there has emerged... Um, there has emerged a more of a consensus on the realm that I see and most people that I come across now. Um, and it's like unspoken. It doesn't require any validation or back padding or anything. And uh, you're either kind of on some level of the spectrum of um, that the realm is kind of full of fuckery and that's what it is. And it's also being worked on and worked with and we're part of that. Or else you're uh, one of the people who still, like, thinks this is life and this is, like, normal and, you know, all that. Which is nice. It's good to be able to do that, you know. But if you're past that, then you're past it. And it, I think, like, the correct way to navigate that dichotomy is to let the people be that want to just live normal lives. Like, I wake up, I go to work. You know, I come home, play with the kids, watch some CNN, you know, talk about things that I can do nothing about, and then go to bed. And, like, joke around and watch sitcoms, whatever. Let, like, let those people be and do their own thing. And, uh, the ones who are... The ones who know, you know, with, like, it's on some level or feel. Feel feel is a more of a correct term, I think. Uh, that, 
that uh, group uh, is more at an understanding, <laughs> unseen, unspoken understanding. Interstanding. <laughs> Overstanding. Oh my god. I hope I never start talking like that. Never. Start. <laughs> What's that old uh, pedo guy on uh, The Simpsons with the crooked nose? He whistles every time he says S. <laughs> and he's always. No, it's not The Simpsons. It's uh, Family Guy. Is it? Yeah, I think it's Family Guy. Wednesday, according to our, is it the Gregorian calendar? I don't know what it is. According to the Christian calendar, it's Wednesday. And, uh, nice and quiet, like normal. Peace. <laughs>